what's going on guys? I'm um, just doing a quick opening real fast or a reveal I guess of um, what I bought today um, from a bookstore. It's called Book Off. And they have a bunch of different stores. There's like Book Off, Hobby Off, and a lot of them sell uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So I got a really good deal in my opinion. I spent about $32 there so you can see 3,200 yen. It's actually a little bit less than that. So it's probably about 30 bucks, maybe cheaper. But um, I got some really cool stuff. This is the main card I was looking for to finish out my uh, my Brandish deck because I'm not gonna buy the uh, English one for 40 bucks because that's ridiculous. So yeah, anyways, if you can see I paid 300 yen, which is about $3, maybe a little bit less. So that was a really awesome deal. Even the uh, um, Sky Striker engages are about anywhere from 14 to, to $19 which is way cheaper than the English version. Obviously they're like $110, $120, which is insane. So yeah, this was the last thing I needed for my uh, Brandish deck. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, so right here we have, I don't know if you could tell, it's an ultimate rare uh, monster reborn. Um, this one costs 750 yen, so that's about $7. Um, I'll, I'll also have like a, a secret rare version of this, which is awesome. I love getting, Things, especially like staples like this in uh, different rarities, it's really beautiful. So you can see it's super shiny. That's just awesome. Um, next, this is really awesome as well. Um, I got three, I forget what it's called, Ghost Bell and something. Um, but they were 450 yen, so like about 450 a piece. So I got a play set and these, you know, these are like $40 cards by themselves. So I got them for four, um, four dollars and some change. So it's like 10% of what uh, they're super rares though. The um, secret rare versions are a lot more expensive, but it's pretty neat to get Well, I say neat, but It's cool that they have different rarities of different cards or whatever um, But it's pretty convenient because it is a lot cheaper in a lot of cases. So yeah 450 for each of those There's also like um, Geez, what is Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring? They have like an ultimate rare version of it. They have a secret rare version and a super rare version and those can range anywhere from $27 to about 35 or 40 bucks, um, which is pretty cool. You can get like a, a secret rare version in the secret, the OCG secret rare looks really nice uh, compared to TCG uh, secret rares. They have kind of like a squared uh, pattern, which is pretty awesome. All right, next, these are just, um, this particular card shop has, you can get any 10 like, they have a bookshelf full of cards and it's like every 10 is $2. So. I just picked out 10, um, just some that are, I thought was a really good deal. And a couple of these are just cards that I bought my wife because I think she might like them. So the Kaiju's for me, this was for my wife. I'm not sure if she has it. I think it's like the Mermail uh, XZ. Um, this is also for my wife, some little cute piano player. This is also for my wife. I think this is one of the uh, Melodious maybe, I'm not sure. This is also for my wife. And this one as well. Um, there was another guy, that, uh, another one that plays the drums that I think I already have for her. So I got her this because it's like a tuba player, whatever the hell instrument that is. And then this because it's a box full of rainbows and she loves rainbows. So, um, and then these are for me. I really want this, uh, the English version because it's in like a, either super rare or ultra rare. And I really like the art on this card. Uh, it's one of the Gem Knight cards, I believe. I don't even know what the hell it does, but I just really like the art on it. And I really want to get it in the, uh foil version um which they don't i don't think that it comes in foil in the japanese um uh, in the ocg rather um all right ne these next cards um i got these because it's an ultra rare version and i think vendors are really cool i don't think they're very good at all but they just look cool and uh, i thought it was neat to get this an ultra rare version um i really want to get the ritual spell for these in a high rarity but i don't think it exists in any kind of rarity other than common or rare right now which is unfortunate because it's like one of my favorite arts on a card right now um so those were a dollar a piece and then here's a ningirisu so you can uh, hopefully you could tell this is the ultra or the secret rare for ocg it's kind of got like a squared um cost like a prismatic uh rare i think is what it might be like close to so it's really cool so this is a dollar fifty for ningirisu and then a dollar fifty for um, uh, I forget what this one is the Griffin maybe uh, Nightmare Griffin, but that's crazy because this is like a ten to fifteen dollar card maybe, and then I paid a buck fifty for it, so not even a buck fifty. It's a little cheaper than that. So, anyways, that's my small little um, haul for today. Um, 
like I said, my main mission was to get this last uh, Widow Inker. So yeah, I finished my um, Brandish deck now. It's like a pure Brandish with the Di uh, Diabolos or whatever the hell it's called. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to have that deck completed and play with my friends. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you thought I got a really good deal on most of these. Like all these were 32 bucks, which is insane in my opinion. I mean, one of those ghost uh, girls is like 30 or 40 bucks by itself for one single um, TCG version of her. So yeah, I thought it was a pretty badass haul. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching my video, guys. Keep looking out for more in the future. Peace.